Hello to you ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pixelily and welcome to the park. I know absolutely nothing about this game other than uh, it's a horror game. And you play as a mom who got her kid lost in a park or something, so I, I don't know, let's, let's just check it out. This was uh, recommended to me by... Um, uh, best play in the dark room wearing headphones, yes, still searching that maybe just ring some players. I played Soma, no problem. Fuck my mini blah 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 blah. Perfectly normal to manipulate your Santa. Sure. Anyways, this game was recommended to me by uh, DM Cyan again. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to play something awesome and mind boggling. So, yeah, that is one scary Paris wheel. Mm. And it's early in the morning, by the way. I'm doing this before I go to work. I have late shift today, so. <laughs> Why do you do that, honey? Oh. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Callum is a name? Those pants, though. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Hello? <laughs> and the game is not working. Ah. Uh. <laughs> is anything happening? Nothing, nothing is happening. Oh, there we go. Her. I have no idea what happened. Ooh, let me see. Mouse sensitivity. I have not launched a game before, so... Mm, it seems fine so far. I do not have a reflection! I do have a rack, though. Atlantic Island Park. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Okay. Seems a little early for the park to shut down, but... Alright. Is the information? Hi. What? I think you need glasses, honey. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, Inside a park! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. I'm so really disturbed by the pants she's wearing. They're very distracting. And I don't mean that in a good way. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Over here! Okay. Wait for mommy, Callum. Oh, this I can. Way, mommy. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. Yeah, Magic Mountain was that no for me. Callum hmm. ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Oh, she's it's such a kid at heart. Oh, hello. Hi. Ah, oh, the buzzing. I heard that laughter. Who was that? That sounded like an evil clown or an evil magician. There's a reason I never go to amusement parks at night. Oh god. The park. What happened here? Toggle toggle running? What? I can't just hold it down and run. Well anyways. It's easy to get lost Come here. Come to mommy, Callum. 
Eh. I try to show it. Eat all the bumper cars first. Anyways. Hi. Callan! Come back here right now. You little twat! Come here. Come back. Come back. Oh! Fuck off. No, 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 I'm losing him. I'm losing him. Lady, you're getting old. I can't. Oh, there I can run. <laughs> hey, 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 super mom, here I come. Do, 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 Hi? Her bat's here. It's like the evil chipmunk. Examine shoe. I think this belongs to Calum. Why is he running without his shoes? Hi. Whoa. The red in the eyes is following me. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry and likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. <laughs> Hi. Don't eat me. I'm just a super mom. What is that? What's this? Oh, hello. Purchase the land of S on Solomon Island for pittance, I might add. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just a mention of his name, had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. Ah, uh, my lords. Had arranged everything in order, but blah 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 blah. The land remembers, sir. Did you do. Oh god, what the fuck was that? But that, that was seriously freaky. Callum! Where did you go? Over here! Thank god. I can hear him. Tunnel of Tails? Okay. Callum, stay where you are. No, you little twat, come back. God damn it. Come on, mommy. The most logical thing to do here was just wait for the kid on the other side. But anyway, you seem very content and just make me want to take this ride, so. Red Swan. Tunnel of Tales. Hmm, can't say I've ever ridden one of these before, so this is a new experience for me. Horror. Okay, my neck is seriously stiff. It can't go any further than this. Come on, lady, you need to stretch some more. Maybe a chiropractor or a physiotherapist. Physio. Hmm. Why? Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his Hansel wife and, and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. That's that. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. Hello? No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Oh. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hi? 
Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Hey, there's something over Do there. Fret, Gretel. Hansel it's moving. Gretel. He crept out of the hut and it's gathered moving. white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Chad, is that you, the evil chipmunk from hell? The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother go? gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that Hi. day. Hi! How are you doing? Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Oh, the mom is so scared she can't even call out. <laughs> After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Is that part of the original Tomorrow story? I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Okay. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hello? What is going on? Mama, you need to get your vision fixed. Make your head as well. Lead them safely home. But hungry eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Yeah. Why Hansel and Gretel? Why did it have to be Hansel and Gretel? That's one of the, the children's worst stories, I think. With an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. An old woman emerged from the house. Sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. you. Grew impatient. Today I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said. The opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. That's new! Okay. Didn't have to ugh, struggle through five minutes attempting to keep myself awake. And quack quack, motherfucker! Hi. Turn around. Thank you. That's fucked up. Carlo, where are you, little twat? I'm going to strangle you. No, I'm not. I'm not. Can I get off this hell ride? Like, please, today? I like to actually get something done before I leave. <laughs> oh, the, the chipmunk was freaky. Alright. Swan's gingerbread and chocolate. Callum, where did you go? I don't know, lady, but he's not here. Stay where you are! Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. 
The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. Yeah, it's a terrible. I used to fight. imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Is there whispering here? Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places oh, where yeah. the tree branches reach like claws. Mm hmm. Okay. So, uh. Oh, it's just a flare from the. It doesn't make any sense. We can't see it at high. Another accident. This place. Hi. I really don't like when stuff like that happens. Oh. Hi. So the only real question whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduce that what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson's forced us. Blah 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 blah. It's so tiny I can barely read it, but that's poor Teddy. Ugh. No, thank you. Where are you, Callum? Callum! Hi? So bad! Chad, is that you? You evil little twat. Huh. Bent the other shape. Oh, this looks nice. What things doesn't seem like it's cold enough for snow, so what's that whispering? Stop doing that. Guess it's trash. Hi, anything demonic down in the waters? This old thing used to make the blood run to my head, to make me dizzy. Well, no wonder it goes around, around. Salmon report. Is there the report guy it? just snapped. Those poor kids. Listen, we were waiting for a turn on the right, Frank. Me and my boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ass cover while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man was—he he was carving and picking away at the eyes and the first thought he was making some animal like a tiger alive but as more and more eyes fell away when you first looked it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice but the more you looked at it the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions something unnatural that made your heart begin to heat just to beat just a little faster like we were praying that thing in the eyes was a hunter Wow, who's overeating? Who, who's looking too much into things? Jeez. But then these teenagers walked up to one of them and made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was a chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was st stab stab stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the eye sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. That's a very detailed report. Can I take this lamp with me, please? Just so I can whack it into the chipmunk's face if I ever see him. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Baby, right, round, round, round. I have to ride this as well. Do I 
want to ride this. I can't get on while it's moving. Come back, Callum. Whoa. That's a fish eye right there. Oh, no, no, no. How much do I have to do this? Like so? Thought I saw someone over there. Eh. Okay. Why would I be running this if I'm looking for my kid? I mean, why would I even consider this? I'm a terrible mom! Whee! Wait, 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 wait. Oh dear. Oh dear. Who's doing that? I couldn't see if there was someone there. Hello? Make it off, please! Oh, this is creepy. What? <laughs> Who are you? Hi! <laughs> Okay, I was a little excited to see him. <laughs> Who's in there? No one? Okay. Because I'm in Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> oh, she looks like the 80s mom of some sort. You just, nah, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Keep hearing stuff. Oh, we can look into this, can we? Please, pretty please. Come on. Give me the opportunity. Ah, oh, I want to look into that. Uh Alright, so we've already been going on for a little while, although the storytelling took all the bloody time out of this. Yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here because I have to leave for work very, very, very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next episode. So you have a nice day and I'll see you guys around. Bye bye!